Verse 7. This day have I begotten thee. What was begotten? We celebrate his birthday today. Hallelujah. But with the knowledge that humanity cannot give birth to the eternal. Humanity cannot give birth to the divine. Jesus said, if you've seen me, you have seen the Father. One last verse of scripture for you today. He's found in the 12th chapter of Revelation. And I would like to share this with you. <coughs> Christ came into the world to save it, not to condemn it. He's already condemned. And in the book of Revelation, we see in this 12th chapter a great war that takes place in the realm of the heavens. A battle over you and me. Because God so loved the world. And because in the Garden of Eden we sold him out and committed high treason against God. <coughs> and we sinned and fell. And because we are the seed of Adam, we all must die. The death rate in Pinckney, Michigan is 100%. The death rate in the world is 100%. But God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. The battle that was in heaven, it says the great dragon was cast out. Amen. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Christians are being persecuted in the world today. Yeah. They are being put to death. But the Bible says they overcame him. The way that we have overcome is through the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. His blood was shed for us. And by the word of their testimony, which is the word of God. But the battle is not completely finished yet. When the dragon saw he was cast into the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man-child 
and to the woman were given two wings of great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place where she is nourished for a time, times, half a time, from the face of the serpent. And the serpent cast out of, out of his mouth waters of flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. But the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the dragon was wroth with the woman, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God, and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. So before we leave this place today, I want to encourage all of you Christian soldiers, hallelujah, to continue to fight the fight. Hang on to your salvation. Hang on to the word of God. Hang on to the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as we celebrate the Lord's birthday, let's look forward to winning the world to Jesus Christ. Amen. It is written that the kingdoms of our Lord, or the kingdoms of this world, world, have become the kingdoms of our Lord and of His Christ. Amen. We are His Christ. Amen. We are His anointed now. We are the sons of God. Amen. We are bought with a price. Let's glorify God in our body and in our spirit in these last days. Let's glorify God in our worship. Let's continue to worship Him. Let's believe God for victory, always for more victories in Him. You are delivered from your enemy. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Through Jesus Christ. You are delivered from death. Through Jesus Christ. In Adam all die. But in Christ shall all be made alive. <coughs> As it was said earlier, if you're the Christ, come down from the cross. He was before Pilate, and he said, I can call legions of angels right now. But then, how will the scriptures be fulfilled? They came to take him in the Garden of Gethsemane. Judas was there who betrayed him. And he says, Whom seek ye? Jesus, he said, I am. But they didn't understand. He was saying, I'm your God. There is only one I am. Amen. Amen. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I used to be sort of an Ebenezer Scrooge kind of guy. <laughs> I was not really thrilled about some of the paganism that had crept into Christmas. But then, <clears throat> one day I was talking with the Lord, and I believe the Lord put it in my heart. What would the world, world be like? without Christmas. Yeah. Jesus never told us he wanted us to celebrate his birthday. But I'm glad it came into someone's heart to 
celebrate his birthday. Amen. They chose December 25th. <coughs> Probably a good time to celebrate his birthday. The days are getting shorter and shorter. Soon they will begin to get lighter again. <laughs> days will get longer. But I'm glad somebody decided in, in this time of year to celebrate now because I realized what would the world be like without the great music that's been composed of El Christ. Just think of a world without the music of El Christ. Think of the world without the hope. Take Christ out of the world and what do you have going on in it? We can listen to the news, we can watch the news, we can see what's going on in the Middle East, we can see what's going on in our world. Take Christ out and that's all that you're left with. It's through Jesus Christ that we have the hope that we have. He is the hope of the world. So once again, Merry Christmas. Let us stand and, and um, let's pray. Maybe Brother Ed will lead us in a prayer. Father, we love you, Lord. We thank you for this opportunity to uh, celebrate your birthday, Lord. For it's all about you that we are even here. Amen. We rejoice in the fact knowing that we will have eternal life with you. And uh, we ask, Lord, that you would guide our steps every day. Help us to be the good servant, to share the good news of the harvest for the end time. For I believe that we are in, here, or in the end times or nearer than we expect. So Father, I thank you for your love, your endurance, and your power to shine the light for us.